Under the cards, you can find the shape, the background, and the border. So you click on the new card, scroll down to card, turn off the background and the border, and you can see it looks more like that than it did before. So the next thing what you can see here is that we have here a label. And to get this label, we have to go to the callout value because it belongs to the callout value and to the label. So today I will show you how you can build a KPI card using the new card visual. The new card visual can be really tricky because there are so many settings you can adjust. And so you have a lot of possibilities to change the look and feel of the card, but it can also be really challenging. So in this video, I will show you the different settings you can choose and what they will do with the KPI curve. So let's jump into Power BI and I will show you how it works. So here we are in Power BI and this is part of my data health dashboard. And this is a KPI card I was using in the dashboard. And here you can see already the DNA of the new card visual. I added this because I think it can be pretty helpful when we build that to remember where all the different settings can be found and how they will look like in the card. So the new card visual can be found here. So we will drag this in first. And you can see now you can only choose the size and style because what we need to do first, we need to add some data. And the first data you have to add is the callout value. So the main value you are talking about. So in my case, it is called callout value and I can search for it. And this is the one I wanted to have. And here you can already see that there is written callout value. It's the number and the percentage. And in my case, the callout value is a measure I have written. So I am formatting the affected fields into numbers with thousand separators in the German format because I wanted to have the dots and I'm adding then the percentage of the issues in the whole field. So this is the first thing, the callout value. What we can see here now, here we have the title which says data quality overview. So we can turn on the title and we can type in data quality overview. We can choose Sego UI and let's say, you will see this is too big. Let's say 24. So we can see now we have a title, we have a callout value. And what the first thing I want to change is the padding because I do not like that. So I will set this to 20. So you can see the title is going down. I will set this to 15. This also to 15. So the borders are coming in. And the bottom, I will also choose the 20. So you can see here now already the card. What we do not want to have is the background. So we turn the background off. You can see if you drag this out, there is no background, but the card still has a background. And the background for the card, like you can see here, is under the card. Under the cards, you can find the shape, the background, and the border. So you click on the new card, scroll down to card, turn off the background and the border, and you can see it looks more like that than it did before. So the next thing what you can see here is that we have here a label. And to get this label, we have to go to the callout value because it belongs to the callout value and to the label. So we will go to the callout value. We will choose the callout value, which is this measure. If you have more, then you choose the callout value. Go to Sego UI. You can change this to, let's say, 13. And then we scroll down to the label. And then you can see here, you can make different settings. You can choose the text. It is a heading. It is the Go UI and 12. I will set this to 14. And I want to have it below the value that it looks like that. And you can see that in my case, I've chosen a formatted text. 
which I can put in here with the FX. So I will click on the FX, go to the field value and research for the callout label, which is also a measure. So you can see here that the callout label is a formatted text. It is the format of all affected fields, again in the German format, and it's adding off and fields affected, and you can see that here. So you can say we have the card and the callout value and the label. The next thing you can choose is the picture, so the image, and the images here. As images, you can use PNGs or you can use SVGs like you want. I will just use an icon I have downloaded, so I will go down to the image. The callout value is already selected. Turn on the image, go to browse and search for the item. Then I will make the size 100 and I will say I want to have it left of the text. And then I can adjust the space between the image and the callout value because this looks very narrow now. So I will set this to 20. Or let's say 25 and you can see that we already got this distance here so now you can see we have the image the title and the callout value the title we will reduce a little bit because it is very big we make it bold and now we can add the reference labels because the reference labels are the context below the callout value for the reference label we have to go to the reference labels. You have to select the series you want to add, so the callout value, and then you can drag in here the labels. So we will go for the critical issues, then we need the additional work. So this one, and then we need the impact or the fields that do not have any impact. So this one in the end. And now you can see that we have here a divider, we have a background in the reference label, and we have here a row. And you can change that if you go back here and select all instead of a distinct series. And then you can go to the layout. And in the layout, you can have the rows. You can have here a sentence or a tabula. If you go to tabula, which I like more, the values will be shifted to the right. But in this case, we will go to columns. And now you can see immediately that it looks a little bit like that. We will turn off the background and we will set the transparency of the divider to 100. So you can see that the divider is gone. But as I can see, I have a divider here, so we will keep the divider. And yes. We will just change it to two. So the divider is back now. And the next thing what we have to do is, you can see it here, we have to rename the reference values because here you can see that the name of the mesh is written and I do not want to have that. So I go back to the reference label, select the callout value, and then I select the label I want to work on. So the critical issues. Then what I can do is I can keep the field name, so the Anzahl of the fields issues, or I can set this to custom. And by doing so, I can type in um, a title I want to have. So these are the critical issues. I want to have the 16 and I want to have it bold. The next thing what you can do is you can change the, the value also to 16 and to bold and we can add the detail and in the detail we will add the target and the target is the detail it is here so you can see the target should be zero you can also set this to 14 so it's a little bit smaller and you can set this to bold and what you can do compared to the value also, in the value you can only change the font color, but you cannot change the background color. This is the reason why I am adding the target below 
So you can add a conditional formatting here for the color and you can click on the FX. You can go on field value and we will see if we have one. Yes, we have the conditional formatting for the critical issues. And you can see that it is pink in this case because the 107 are bigger than the zero. What I often do in this case is I eliminate also the value, the 107 here. So you can go back to the value, change it to eight to make the distance smaller in the end. Turn it off, go to the details fields for the critical issues. And you can add here some text. So the format, these are not all of the fields, they are the critical issues. Format is right. And then we need an end. And here we need a blank. And we will make it like that. And now you can see here also the issues and the target and the conditional formatting applies to both of them. So if the value for the critical issues, the 107 are bigger than the zero, it will be pink. And what we will do now, we will also do this for the additional work and the impact. So we will go to the reference labels, choose here the additional work, the title we will set to custom, to additional work. It is bold and it is 16 again. Then we will set the value to 8 and turn it off. And we will add the detail. And in the detail, we will add the additional details field. So you can see it's a 493. We will increase this to 16. Make it bold again. And we will only set this to a light blue because I did not write the conditional formatting for that. But you can also, again, choose conditional formatting also here. Then for the last step, we will go to the issues with no impact. Also give them a custom name, like no impact. Set this again to 16. We will not make it bold in this case because it is not so important because as we have no not to work on them. So we will keep it like this. Set the value to 8, turn it off again. And then we will turn on the detail and add the details with the no impact. Set this to 16 again. And then you can see that it looks like that, but without the value field here. We did do not have the values here because I decided to make it in one row because I wanted to be able to format all the background and here I cannot format the background of the value. So we will go back here now to the reference labels, set this to all, scroll down and this also to all and scroll down again to the layout because I want to work on the alignment. So I will set it left. The vertical alignment is middle. And what we can do now is we can scroll up to the callout value, select here all, go to the layout and change here the callout size. By doing so, you can see that the callout value is moving up or down. So you can work a little bit on the look and feel and the placing of the divider. And what you can also do in the end is you can scroll down to the cards. You can go to the padding and you can also play around a little bit with this. So you can set this to wide. You can see that the fields are going together because the padding is getting bigger. You can set it to normal. You can check if it looks better with narrow or you can set it also to custom. And by doing so, you can work on the padding yourself, but we will go back to narrow. And what we will do now is we will increase the space a little bit here. So we will go back to the reference labels, select here all, and scroll down to the spacing. And then you can see that you have two pixels. So we increase this to 10. 
and you can see that they are moving a little bit so you have more space now. So I hope I could show you that it is not so complicated to set up a new card visual if you have a good description where you can find the values and if you know how to change the settings. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Wish you a great day now and see you soon. Bye bye.